Hello everyone, how are you guys? How are you guys coping up with the COVID situation? Let me know in the comments down below. I for one, I'm trying to keep myself engaged somehow because otherwise it's a very slippery slope downhill, especially for my mood and my pot. Today I am back with a painting video. I hope this makes my older subscribers happy. I will be painting flowers um so yeah that is going to be the focus of this video but i'm going to show you the entire painting so i'm just starting here with the background i'm painting the background um so it's pretty much solid color and it's honestly quite boring to watch and very redundant so i'm not going to show you the entire process because yeah it's kind of boring to do and boring to see after i finish painting the solid colors of the background i start to add in shadows and i want the background to be a solid color but also be uh, like very textured so i i'm not like smoothing the shadow out it's very rough you can see the paint strokes as well uh, not only in the shadows but also in the actual like background i want to add some texture so i'm just you know adding some dark color over the lighter side i know it looks like somebody has scribbled all of your painting but just trust the process trust yourself and everything will come together Once you have the textured goodness of the background, uh, it is time to map out the flowers. So again, this is being done in solid colors. Um, so I'm, I'm just looking at my um, reference and then mapping out the area where I want to paint the actual flowers. Once the flower portion and the leaf portion, whatever you're painting, all the portions are mapped out, it's time to paint the actual petals. For this, you're going to take a lighter shade and just start flicking the brush. Um, just look at your reference again and this process does take a lot of practice, but once you get the hang of it, it's very easy. So you just look at your reference, look at the uh, how the petal is going and then do the brush stroke in that direction and do it all over the flower multiple number of times and then you can see the petal building up. A another thing to keep in mind is the petal near the center of the flower are very small so your strokes are small as you 
uh, start to get outside of the flower, the petals get bigger and so do your strokes. The footage that I had for this painting was five and a half hours long and I had to shrink it to like 15-20 minutes so I'm taking out a lot of redundant bits. So when I'm showing you how to paint a flower, I'm just showing you one flower and not all the flowers because I feel like that is redundant and it will take a lot of time and we will be here forever. Painting of the flowers is a wet on wet process. so. Everything that I'm doing here is on wet paint. If you do this on dried paint, you would not get the gradient. So once the, all the petals, the basic shape of the petals is formed, I'm going back in with a darker color, the darker shade of the color and painting that wherever I need to build up some depth. So I will do that and after this I will go in with like a lighter shade, almost white, it's not white but which is almost white and then adding highlights. This will almost give a three dimensional look to the flower. Again, there's a process that you need to go back and forth with depending on the amount of depth that you want to achieve in the painting. I'm going to start painting the flower pot and as opposed to the process of painting flowers this is a wet on dry process so once I lay out the basic colors of the pot the detailing and everything that I do is after the paint of the basic colors is dried so it is a wet on dry process again I'm not showing you the entire process because everything is redundant I'm basically doing the same thing on a larger portion of the canvas so I'm just showing you the a small portion of the pot.
painted this painting almost six months ago and I finally got the patience to edit the video because honestly like five and a half hours worth of footage it's kind of difficult to edit um, and you might think after so many years of making painting videos I would have found out a way to you know make the process efficient but no no I will never learn my lesson -uh. so I just put put myself through the torture of editing that long of a video um so after the paint after what after i paint the pot um i just went back on the flowers with the darker shade because i felt like um they needed a little more depth and yeah that's the finished painting i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know in the comments down below what kind of uh, videos you like to see on my channel painting or makeup i enjoy making both of them the painting videos take a lot of time and the makeup videos take shorter amount of time i enjoy both so let me know what you like and i'll see you all in my next one bye